Viewer discretion is advised. No, you don't. Here's all the units involved in the pursuit. Right there, will do. Oh. <laughs> oh, a person in a car just went flying. Oh my God. This guy, this guy right here. Look, you get that too. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Jeff Aviano, and this is LSPDFR. It is snowing. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I think you've noticed it already. Uh, snow is going to be a thing for December. So this entire month of December, you will see snow. We'll be using snow in, you know, the Blaine County where we're at now, Los Santos County, whatever you want to call it, as well as downtown and all that good stuff. I know it doesn't snow that much in California, if at all, um, especially down in the LA area or lower uh, portion of the state. But for December and Christmas, we're going to keep it, um, keep the snow on the ground and let it snow. So. With that said, we're going to do a patrol out here in the sheriff area, and this is kind of going to be a thank you patrol. I really, really, really want to thank you guys so much. We're so close to 200,000 subscribers, and uh, for 200,000, um, I wanted to uh, make sure that we... Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, I wanted to make sure you guys knew that um, I plan on doing another uh, shout-out competition like I did for 100,000, so... Uh, all those channels that um, I think, uh, you know, need a little bit of a boost or think that uh, they work hard at their channel, you know, here's another opportunity for people to do that. Uh, what that means is this is not time for you to submit your channel. Don't do it in this video. Don't do it at all until I make a video on it. Um, but with that said, I really want, you know, people that are taking it serious um, rather than people that are just going to send me a, a channel of with no videos or something on it because that happened a lot last time. <laughs> Uh, with that said, I had uh, two big donations in November. Uh, those of you that did send those um, through YouTube, actually, I really want to thank you all for that. Um, uh, you didn't leave your name or anything. There's no way to really track it, but I really wanted to say thank you for those two people that did um, for the That's past month. Uh, uh, medical call. escort required. Escort all right. Uh, Maybe we can do that here. Let's take this call. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see this call, so let's go ahead and roll. We're going to be uh, code uh, 2 to it right now. I think that'll be for the best. All right. I think that guy there kind of hurt us fine. Um, it's over in Grapeseed, it looks like. Wow. So let's go ahead and step this up to code 3. We'll roll over there, code 3, and continue to talk continue to talk so yeah i plan on doing that once we hit the uh, 200,000 mark which we're very close to actually and i just wanted to say thank you to all you uh that you know support me and uh talk to me in the comments it's been an awesome awesome uh journey meeting all you guys uh the best i can i respond to as many comments as i can i try to answer all the questions i can in a reasonable time um but with that said you know i just wanted to say thank you guys don't ever think that I take that for granted because I do not. Uh, what else? Oh, we're going to be moving soon on the, uh, right around the week of the 15th. Uh, so things should look all normal to you. They shouldn't be any, any different really. Um, but for me, it's going to be a whole new place to live and I'll, I'll update that. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see a, um, a setup tour. And with that said, that's a lot of the reason why I uh, was waiting till I moved before I did another one of those. All right, ambulance is going to be up here. Okay, let that guy move out of our way. Here it is right here. All right, we're on scene. We're going to merge the EMS channel. Affirmative, listening to the EMS channel. Officer on scene, we're heading to Sandy Shores Medical Center. Guide us in. All right, let's do it. Turn our siren on. Guide us in. Usually, they follow you, but... They will also mimic you, too, a little bit, so that's kind of interesting. We'll see if they do exactly that, though. We're losing sight of you. All right, we're slowing down. I know it's really difficult for these guys to, to maintain speed towards us. We're losing sight of you. Please don't go anywhere. All right, we're good. So, yeah, the snow mod, I will put a link for that in the description below if you want to make your Grand Theft Auto 5, a wintry wonderland, you can surely do that as well. Very, very cool. This guy drives slow as molasses. Come on, man. We got things to do tonight. Well, maybe we don't, but you know. You know, you know. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Uh, it's been awesome. I'm glad you really enjoy the, um, the content. 
uh, that I've been putting out. A lot of LSPDFR stuff, as well as some other things. Um, but I'm glad you've uh, stayed loyal as long as you have, most of you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to the channel. This is a perfect call for the, for the beginning, so we can actually uh, talk. Works out good. Oh, dude, don't go in the other lanes. Come on, stay over here. All right, cool. He's listening a little bit. Uh, I think we have to really swing out wide for the turns, I believe. But we'll find out. We will find out. I'm using uh, Gravel Road Cop, his second in edition, or not second, but obviously, I think it's like five or six or whatever version it is now. Come on, you can make the turn, and he did. Um, of the sirens, so the American Police Siren Pack or whatever you want to call it. You know, that link's always in the description below to let you know where that is. Um, yeah, we're using that. So right now, this is the Federal Signal Smart Siren. Uh, I believe they're using a Unitrol back there on that ambulance or a Touchmaster, one of the two. All right, buddy, keep on coming. Keep on rolling. This is a new vehicle. I will put a link for it in the description. I don't remember exactly who made it. It's the L uh, LSSD um, TVPI. All right, let's get around this Prius. And that's an actual Prius now. Let's cut the corner if you can, bro. Oh, he did a good job. Look at that. I'm going to give it up for him on that one. He did a good job. And look at that. And he's using his secondary siren and stuff. He's using Yelp and Phaser. Good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and kill my siren. We're on scene to the hospital now. The medical center. Let's see if he's going to pull in here. Should be right here, actually. And look at that. Thanks for the escort. You got it. How about that? We'll be uh, code four and we're going to be 10-8. We have a suspect resisting arrest on uh, Route 68. Okay, Route 68, we got a prison Target break. Possession of road. small respond firearms. All right, we're going to respond code three to that, actually. Let's go ahead and turn our siren on. And I think the best way is to take the road right in front of the airport. Let's get a, uh, well, we can't do anything yet. No, we don't have an actual pursuit. We're going to head into that area. Still on Route 68. On, uh, Route 68. All right there. Watch out for that little coyote. Going to try to get around all these guys, move them out of the way. Yep, it's up here right by the prison, actually. So this is going to be interesting. We're looking for probably a police SWAT van, I'd imagine. That's usually what they try to steal. They really need to get their security beefed up in this area. All right, still no sight of him yet. It's on the freeway now, headed towards Los Santos, probably. All right, cool. Still on the freeway. That's okay. We know where that's at. All right, we got it. We're headed down there. On a Sonora freeway. If she says pa Palomino, then we'll know that they took the 15 south, but... They're staying on this one right now. Not sure what this... So, they might be armed and dangerous, is what it sounded like. Los Santos Freeway. Los Santos Freeway. Here it is, right up here. Los Santos Freeway. Yeah, we've got visual on it. You don't have to tell me again, but that's okay. Thank you. Wow, we are going pretty fast for conditions right now. Uh... Sonora for Los Santos Freeway. There they are up there. Target last seen on uh, Los Santos Freeway. Yep, got eyes on that vehicle. We're moving in on him now. Oh, shut up. We got it. In sight. This one right here. Los Santos Freeway. Yep. They're not in the SWAT van. They're in a Speedo. And they're turning around, it looks like. All right, yep, we got eyes. We're going to get a local air support unit Attention as well as local. Air support over We're going to let state patrol know what's going on. We're going to ask four of them, actually. Of so hopefully they uh, will get involved in this field. pursuit. Remember, they're possibly uh, armed and dangerous. That's the reason why I didn't go after them right off the bat. Trying to keep it a little, uh, little more legit. You wouldn't want to just get out and start, you know, putting yourself in a bad position. We'll let that unit go by. There we go. All right. 
Boy, he's got to be cold. That uh, bike cop right there. Let's let uh, our other units locally know what's going on. This is a prison break, so this is going to be a high priority kind of thing here. All right, let's see if we can get them out of the vehicle. See if they'll comply. Out of the vehicle. Nope, nothing yet. Just kind of being careful here. We might be able to resolve this soon. They really do take care of the uh, the bike, the, the people on bikes for some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're going to make a move. We're going to make a move now. Come on. Don't do anything stupid. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it, ma'am. You bitch. Thank you. You almost died. Give it up. Got a damn gun. You still alive? You still alive? Whoa. Easy, guys. Easy, guys. Whoa. Let's move, 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 move. Oh, my God. <laughs> Close the damn road off. It's going to get insane. All right. They got one in custody. I think the other guy's dead. Pretty sure he is. He should be. You idiots are the ones that are smashing into everybody. Yeah, he is dead. He, he's dead and he's got snow all over his face now. <laughs> you assholes. She's in custody. And I'm going to open the road and I'm going to limit it to a slow speed here. I think that'll work out for us. And I'm going to call the corner down here if they can get down here to pick this guy up. Damn degenerate. This idiot here in his Honda S2000 decided to drive on the side of my car. All right, corner is almost on scene. I'm going to move my vehicle up off the road a little bit more, and we'll search this van, see if they planned a prison escape. They they, were, they weren't too bad. They didn't, I mean, they were at a high rate of speed down Los Santos Freeway, you know, down the 13, but they're just running over this body like it's no problem. Hang on, guys. Hold on. I know. No, 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 no. Just hold on a second. I'm closing this road off here. I don't know if the uh, corner's going to get down here or not. Really not sure if they'll make it. That's okay, though. We're going to search the van. See if anything was in it. You never know. Get in the car, keep your mouth shut. Your mouth shut. All right. So they did get the other one. That's good. Whenever you hear that, that's usually a good sign. Got nothing of interest. All right, we'll check the back. Anything back here? Hopefully we don't get warped and stuck inside of it. That's a burrito. Sorry, not a speedo. Backup required. An ambulance call. Requesting escort. Don't need the ambulance on, call, uh, but that's okay. Los Santos Freeway. Los Santos Freeway. All right, cool. And I'm really glad you guys enjoyed the uh, uh, the prison uh, or the prison break. This is what we're doing. Uh, the <laughs> bank heist. Okay, I think that corner is not going to make it as of now. So nothing of interest. We'll check the engine compartment just so people don't shout at me. I think the body's gone anyway. Yeah, it is. Okay, we can open this road. We're going to uh, get a tow truck down here to pick this thing up. And we'll be uh, code four off of this. We'll just wait for the tow truck. Come on, dude. Okay, tow truck has picked up the vehicle. We'll go ahead and open the road completely, and we're good to go. We'll be... Uh, Code four, and we will be 10 8 back to, uh, we'll head back to Blaine County. Okay, this dude was right in my butt, pretty close for conditions. So we are going to pull him over and see what's going on with him tonight. Not sure why he wanted to act like such a jackass, but he did. Give me a corner stop, looks like. Okay. We can do that. We're just going to move him up a little bit here. All the way to the side, sir. No, 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 no. Nope. Yep, straight. Right here off to the side of the road will be perfect. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Right there's perfect. Thank you. All right, so we got this fugitive pulled over here. We're following too close to me for conditions. He should have seen my, uh, you know, Los Santos Sheriff on the back, but he wasn't smart enough for that. Let's go ahead and run his plate, see if anything comes back on it. It is a white fugitive, 22 Sam X ray William 815. And we'll wait for the 1028 on that. And see Target what we get. License plate. Two, two, Sam X ray William 815. Bench warrant. A warrant issued. Proceed with caution. All right, so they got a warrant. 
pretty much We've for Brian Payne. So we're going to make contact, uh, talk to him. Route 68. Brian Payne. Hello, sir. How you doing this evening? My name's Jeff Aviano with the Los Santos Sheriff's Department. Uh, hit. Traitor. Yeah. Traitor. <laughs> Got ID on you, boss? Keflom, please. Got to turn on my, uh, my spotlight. Brian Payne, so he does have the bench warrant. Okay, Brian, sit tight. Be right back with you. So Brian Payne has the bench warrant. Uh, let me show you real fast. I'll we'll turn on this, uh, the spotlight. And look at that, the takedown light in the middle. How awesome is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's access the police computer. Um, Brian Payne. Was it Payne like that? Or was it Brian Payne? Well, I don't remember. We'll find out real fast. It might have been just Brian Payne. Yeah, it was. Okay. Valid and no warrants as far as that goes, but they do have a bench warrant on that plate and a bench warrant back to him. We're going to try to cut him a break, though. We're going to talk to him a little bit, see what's going on. All right, Brian, you know you have a uh, bench warrant for your arrest out there. You might want to take care of that. Um, have you been drinking this evening? Let's go ahead and ask him that question. Why don't you breathalyze me? Good idea. We'll breathalyze him. You don't need to rubberneck there, Suburban. Keep moving it. No alcohol in their blood, Appreciate so they weren't. Okay. Have you done any illegal drugs recently? No. Okay. Awesome. Uh, do you have anything illegal in the vehicle? No. Why? Okay. Awesome. That's okay. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut you a break tonight. We're going to give you a... Um, we're basically going to just give him a citation. It's going to be a hefty one for following too close to not only me. It's kind of reckless driving, but driving uh, like that in, uh, you know, bad conditions. And uh, he'll just get $100. That's that's better than him going down to jail and having to deal with that. So, All right, Brian. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut you a break. $100 citation for pretty much reckless driving and uh, conditions and poor conditions. So have a good night. Be careful out there. All right. Again, you know, he had a bench warrant for his arrest, but uh, he wasn't in the system yet, so it wasn't a huge, huge deal. We cut him a break. We'll let him go, and uh, hopefully he'll learn from his mistakes, and he won't follow that close to an officer again. Okay, we're going to flip around here really fast. Over the radio, we had a, uh, a we have a code 2 call for um, a person that has a warrant for their arrest. They might be out walking. We're not really sure. I'm going to cut my lights off right now. We're going to reduce to code 1 pretty much just because I think they're on foot, and if they're on foot, it's not the end of the world. We don't need to roll up on them really you know, really quickly. Here they are right here, actually. Walking about. Yep. Looks like it. Let's make contact with them. Hey, sir. Come here a minute. Let me talk to you. Get our gun out just in case. All right. Hey, come here. Can I talk to you? I'm hitting right on the D-pad. Nothing. Can I talk to you a minute? Stay what? there. Okay, nope. He doesn't want to do that, so let's go ahead and... Hey, get down. Nope, he's going to run from us. He is going to run from us. All right, well, with that said, we'll get our taser out. If you don't stop, you're going to get tased, and you don't want to get tased in the snow, my friend, or I'm going to tackle you just like that. Give it up. Going non-lethal right now. Up, 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 up. Give it up. All the way to the ground. I just wanted to talk to you. What are you running for? All right, he's going down. We got him ourselves. We're going to go in for a... Uh, 1015 on him. So we have him in custody. Proceed with patrol. That's good. We're going to stand him up. Uh, I'm going to try to frisk him. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Can I frisk you? Yes, I can. Okay, we're going to frisk him. See if he has anything on him. Finally got that working again. Nothing of interest. That's okay. Follow me back to my cruiser. We'll put our gun away. He's going to follow us. I mean, we're right next to the jailhouse, so we can take care of him ourselves. Not the end of the world. And a lot of you guys want to see me take him, take the people to jail. I always do that, usually out here in this area. When I'm downtown, it just, you'd rather, there's, you know, it's such a big city. You normally would have oh, um, a PT driving around that evening just yeah, to transport people. Call. Rather than us having to go back and forth to the uh, police station over and over again, but we're good. We're going to take him to custody ourselves. We did exactly that. 
We'll just light up here in the uh, intersections to move some cars out of the way. Uh, actually, some people like to see the lights on whenever I have a prisoner of transport code too. But that's fine. I'll do it for you guys. About here on scene now. We'll pull in. And I have a feeling these guys are going to kick your ass, bud. But you wanted it this way. I just wanted to talk to him and he just tried to take off running from me when I made contact with him. He acted like he was dumb, like he didn't know what was going on, so. We'll be uh, code 4 on that call and we'll be 10-8. Alright, I'm going to catch up uh, to a known prostitute. She was just sitting up here on the corner. Now she looks like she's running from us. Remember last time we cut her a break? Tonight, not going to be the case. Come on. If you keep running, you we're just going to make this worse. Going to get you for eluding. All right. She's not listening to her bullhorn. We're going to uh, probably have to take her down. We got one running from us. No, nope, they don't see that yet, but we're going to. All right, let's try it. Let's get, let's get her. Come here. Come here. You're going to get tased in the snow. It's really going to hurt. It's really going to hurt, but don't take my word Hold for it, up. right? Let's see those hands. Right All right, now. she just started to comply there, but she wanted to run from us. She's going to jail this time. You're going to jail. You know, I realized I didn't run uh, the last guy's name, which is all right. He went to jail for ah. running from us, and the system already had an arrest warrant in the system for him. Don't give it up. Give it up. Don't move. Why do you want to get tased in the snow? And why are you wearing that in the winter time? I understand that it's not normally, but, you know, let's go ahead and put her in cuffs and we have her in custody. Holly Woodward. What a name. All right, Holly, you know, we, we tried last time to work with you and this time you're not so lucky. Told you if I see you doing it again, you're going to jail. She's valid. No warrants. We'll stand her up and we'll take her to the station ourselves. How about that? Put our gun away. We don't need that. We will run to our car and open the door for her. I'm sure she's not in a hurry to get over here. No, of course not. Get in the Come car, on. keep your mouth shut. Get in the car, keep your mouth shut. Come on, Holly. Let's get on out of here. The, the faster we can get you down here to the jail cell. There we go. The faster we can get her down to the jail cell, the warmer she's going to be. She's got to be like having some hypothermia or something. We'll just keep our lights on right now and we'll road code two over here to the uh, station right up here. All right. Awesome. Right dead ahead. Turn our lights off. Watch both ways and we'll pull in. She's going to get her ass beat for running again. Due to our uh, local uh, jail guys. Oh, oh, do it. Oh, they got lucky. It dipped to black too soon <laughs> before you got to see the actual police brutality. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We're just pulling in back here. We need to do some final paperwork with the these guys over here from that earlier uh, escort we had. But I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care.